Here's your WTF Action News for Friday, April 19th. The Okona County Sheriff's Department had fewer complaints last week, and the number of serious calls for help was also down. Deputies responded to two calls each for threats and fraud. There was one call each for a civil dispute and gunshots fired. Deputies were also on the scene of eight auto crashes and issued 14 citations following 37 traffic stops. Police in Detroit responded to a Westside Detroit Blues Club after an argument became physical with one man firing shots into a crowd. Five men ages 33 to 48 were struck and police found eight shell casings in the parking lot. Damon Hunter now faces five counts of assault with intent to murder and several other charges related to the shooting. Only one of the shooting victims was involved in the fight. The others injured were bystanders. A gun found at the Kenowa Hills High School on Wednesday was left behind by a Kent County Sheriff. Deputies were called to the school after the gun was discovered unattended in a boy's restroom. The officer had used the restroom and inadvertently forgot to grab his firearm when he left. As of Thursday, a full investigation has been launched and the officer has been placed on unpaid administrative leave pending the outcome of the internal investigation. The firearm was found by two students who notified authorities. The Alpena Montmorency Alcona Educational Service District and Alcona Community Schools are looking for community partners to help solve what is said to be a critical need for child care services in Alcona County. A recent study revealed that 264 additional child care slots are essential to support families with children. They are looking for persons interested in serving on the project team, starting a new child care, or providing space or a location for child care. You can call Alcona Superintendent Dan O'Connor for more information at 736-8534. There will be a children's craft activity and story time at 10.30 this morning at the Hair School branch at the Alcona County Library. Learning about financial literacy is featured. For more information, call the library at 724-6796. Crossroads Recovery will meet this evening at 7 p.m. at the Greenbush Community Baptist Church in Greenbush. For details, call 569-1298. Stand by. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and cue music. On this day in 1986, Prince started a two-week run at number one on the U.S. singles chart with Kiss. Prince also had the number two song, Manic Monday by the Bangles, which he wrote under the pseudonym Christopher. Alexis Corner was born on this day in 1928. The blues singer and musician was a major force behind the UK R&B scene and formed Blues Incorporated with Charlie Watts. Corner died in January of 1984. Skies will be cloudy through mid-morning, gradually clearing with today's high temperature near 52 degrees. Winds from the west at 5 to 15 miles an hour. Partly cloudy skies overnight with a low around 33. Partly sunny for your Saturday with a high near 48. Sunny skies and 55 degrees on Sunday. WTF Action News is a public service of your local community radio station, WXTFLP Harrisville. Right here in Elkona County, Michigan.